Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review of my art supplies purchasing. I used uh, several websites and went in Cass Art Store in uh, Islington uh, flagship. So I'm going to to review to review all the su supplies I've used. Uh, first, it is um, SAA, it is a Society of All Artists um, of the UK, and uh, I made several purchases from there. I bought um, uh, painting brushes, um, they came in this box. Um, this uh, paint, uh, this painting, this set con uh, consists of um, ten brushes of uh, average sizes, but uh, it is uh, good overall uh, a starter kit. So it has a fan, a uh, size uh, six. Um, it has filberts. Uh, it has uh, sabo rounds and uh, in overall I was really pleased with, uh, with my purchase. Um, also I have to say that um, the delivery was in time and um, the Society of All Artists uh, really do have great deals uh, when you want to purchase uh, art supplies such as uh, painting brushes, paints. Um, I purchased also Skyflow Georgian uh, Dalia Roni um, uh, brush. Uh, it is two and a half inches and it is really it's a bristle brush and it's really good quality. Um, down below there will be a link to their website and you can uh, have a look at their um, uh, deals. Uh, I found that in overall uh, this is an artist friendly website and um, they do have good deals uh, both for students and for professional artists. I also bought a um, proportional divider from them and uh, a few other small things um, such as uh, palette knives uh, yes this palette knife it is uh, size 103 RGM uh, Italian brand um, another website I used uh, to do my uh, shopping online was uh, artist stretch canvases and the link will be down below. There you can buy canvases in bulk. Um, the good uh, thing about uh, buying canvases in bulk, you can save money. Um, but they also have a great range of um, uh, different canvases. Uh, linen, uh, uh, cotton canvases, uh, different brands such as uh, Vincent Newton and Loxley. And I bought a box of um, linen, uh, professional linen canvases, uh, 24 by 20. Um, I got a box of three, and it's really good quality. But uh, I didn't like this canvases, Loxley linen canvases, simply because it was the first time uh, when I bought this canvas, this brand, and I searched online for the reviews on these canvases, and I found that they're, I think they are very new on the market. Um, they are linen, um, they're stretched nicely, the frame is good, but the surface, they claim they are for suitable for oil and acrylics. 100% guarantee they are not suitable for oils. If probably for someone who uses mixed media, and but it is it is we there is a rule. 
you cannot paint oil with oil over acrylics. Um, you can do acrylics over oil, but not uh, uh, oil over acrylics. So the surface is um, is nicely primed, but um, it's not suitable for oils. Um, I had I have opened um, the canvas. Uh, one canvas and try to paint. Um, this canvas, I made my background in oils and um, what I found that my painting brushes were sliding. <laughs> Literally, you, you couldn't control your brush, your hog brush, uh, on this canvas, it was sliding, it was like whew, an oil was moving too much. Uh, maybe for certain techniques, uh, it's okay if you want very, very moving oils like for days, <laughs> probably you can use it, but you will regret. I think it, it's going to be a waste of your time because uh, even after five days I just uh, checked my my painting and I found that the oils were still moving what I did I just took the kitchen towel and just after five days I just wiped off all oils and uh, the canvas is uh, clean and clear again for the for the painting and I'm going to use it with acrylics not so don't buy this for oils and uh, I found the store um, to say that I would like to return and get something more suitable for my style. but I said no you, you can't return but I think um, they were not right because uh, you wouldn't know that is not suitable for oil until you open the canvas and try it. So what they're claiming that it's for oils and acrylics is not true. It's only for acrylics and probably only if you use probably water mixable oils. I don't know, I never worked with all water mixable oils. And I don't know how they dry, but normal standard oils are not good on this. I think over the time, even if you will manage to dry your painting, it might start peeling off your your canvas. And if you don't want these surprises, just don't use this canvas unless you are buying it for acrylics. For acrylics, I think it will be fine. Um, another thing with uh, artistrichcanvases.co.uk is that the delivery time for the Vincent Newton was way too long. They claimed that um, you should receive your delivery within five, seven days. But my delivery came to two two weeks after, so I wasn't very very happy. If you want something quick, probably you need to phone the store and ask if they have it in stock. Otherwise, I wouldn't risk buying it if I need it urgently. Another website where I was buying um, my art supplies was uh, uh, casart.co.uk and it was online um, first time I tried them online and I bought an um, introductory set of Michael housing and I also bought uh, painting mediums to, to go with this but they are still coming 
And overall, I would say it's a good experience and you can get uh, things pretty quickly from them. But allow four or five days at least. Um, Cars Art uh, store in Islington, where I was shopping. Um, as an artist, I like to try to hold my things before I pay for them. And art supplies are not cheap, especially when you work with oils. And what I found that there's shop assistants uh, in Cassart, Islington, London is very poor. Uh, by saying that I mean they don't know what they sell, they don't know their goods, they don't know... <laughs> Simple example, I asked for the flow improver for acrylics but I wanted something not very expensive. I wanted to go for the cheaper brand and it the, the shop is full, lots of people inside, lots of shelves. You, you can get lost there. So I wanted a quick um, direction to the right shelf. Um, and the men showed me <laughs> linseed oil as a flow improver for acrylics. This just simply says that he doesn't really understand the difference between acrylics and oils and has nothing to do with uh, with art supplies and uh, they should coach, bef coach their personnel before they would even go and help customers. Another thing is um, I bought uh, a set of uh, Georgian oils. These are great for those who learn and who want to have uh, their painting a little bit better than when you paint with graduate uh, oils. Um, this is quite a good set. It's, uh, it has all main colors which you can use, limited palette. Um, you don't really need uh, raw umber and uh, practically you need only five colors um, as a limited palette uh, to learn painting but this one is great um, well anyway what I found that the price for this is a twin install was 26.95 pounds and it has a cheeky sticker here saying special offer, blah blah blah. Don't buy that. It's a marketing thing. All these oils can be purchased everywhere, not only car in Cass Art store, and for even cheaper. And what I found that Cass Art store online offers this for twenty four fifty which I think is not really nice uh, discovery <laughs> on my side. Um, yeah, it's just two, two pounds something, but uh, you feel like you've been cheated. Um, in terms of uh, our canvases, I also bought a few canvases in that store in Islington. And what I found that um, everywhere where you can buy this in bulk, they offer as a single, which is great. So you don't need to spend, for example, uh, huge money on buying 10 canvases as a bulk. You can buy just one if you want just one. Um, so for that, from that point of view, Cassart uh, stores when you go there in person, are great. Um, another thing is, I wanted to to buy a stretchable uh, linen canvas, and uh, they are sold by meter there as well. So in other places where you go in 
on uh, online and they're sold by rolls and it's very expensive you can sp you can easily s spend 300 600 pounds just on buying canvas straight which you still have to stretch so it means you have to spend money on stretches and things like that so if you want to go in affordable way cast art stores are great but again the shop assistant is poor they don't know what they're selling people who work there they simply don't know the girl who was working upstairs um, in in store she couldn't define uh, which canvas is primed which is unprimed and she didn't know how to assemble um, stretch bars <laughs> which I think is not acceptable when right next to that uh, assistant there is uh, a small address saying we use stretching services <laughs> okay so you would expect that girl to stretch and fix uh, but she simply not uh, she won't be able to help you because she, she simply doesn't know how to do it probably she knows in theory probably she saw it once but she probably never did it so when I asked her if she could make me one um, I understood that she doesn't know the basics and she was so reluctant to talk to me about this and so <laughs> I would say she did everything for me not to want buying it and not to pay for this, their stretching services so I just end up buying some cheap canvases and gum because I know another store uh, where I can buy and where I can add uh, I can um, pay for stretching services and I know I will I will be served great but I just wanted in-store experience I wanted a canvas to be stretched in in front of me you know <laughs> I wanted to be, make a special painting and now nah, I didn't like it and to be honest I left that store in a mixed feelings in overall yes it's lovely to walk in store it's all shiny and by the way they claim on their website it is free free level stores no it's not probably they have a third level somewhere but it's not for customers so it's only two levels so probably a store should amend their details uh, what else uh, to say? Another, um, uh, let's move on. Oh, another thing. Um, they give these bags for free uh, if you spend over 30. I bought lots of things and I paid three, to be exact, 310 pounds. And I thought they could give me two bags. <laughs> no, they didn't. Which I think is very, very cheeky. Uh, because initially they gave me two, then another shop assistant just came and took that another bag away for another customer. And I was left with one brain. So in overall, Cossard Ice. Islington flagship is a customer service is a bleh. <laughs> no not me not me liking at all <laughs> um, if I will shop I will shop only online and only when I'm desperate for that because there are other places where I can buy cheaper and get better experience as a customer what else um that's it for now i think thank you for viewing and uh, um
please comment, share, likes, and uh, I hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye.